Hello everyone, I am Vani and I welcome you all to Ingmarta. Today's video is going to be super fun and informative because in today's video, you will be able to check how good your grammar is. Yes, you heard me right. I would be giving you a set of seven questions based on different grammar topics. All you have to do is you have to write your answer in the comment section below. And if you do not know the answer, need not worry. I will be helping you with the correct answer and also a brief explanation. So quickly grab a pen and paper and let's get started. Ingvarta, your English practice playground. No judgment, only motivation and constructive feedback. Join today. Well, let's start with our first question. Dash than 50% of people showed up for the presentation. I would repeat, dash than 50% of people showed up for the presentation. Is it fewer or less? Well, the correct answer is fewer. Fewer than 50% of people showed up for the presentation. Fewer is used for countable nouns, whereas less is used for uncountable nouns. Moving on to our second question. Question number two. The people dash reach the sales target will be rewarded. I'll repeat. The people dash reach the sales target will be rewarded. And your options are who or that. And the correct answer is who. The people who reach the sales target will be rewarded. We use that when we talk about things and we use who when we talk about people. Moving on to question 3. My father gave my sister and Dash some money. Once again, my father gave my sister and Dash some money. And your options are I or me? Well, I will be answering that but after question 4. And question 4 is Tom and Dash are leaving soon. And the options are same. Is it I or me? Well, the correct answer for question 3 is me. My father gave my sister and me some money. And the correct answer for question 4 is I. Tom and I are leaving soon. There's always a confusion between me and I. You use I when you are the subject. And you use me when you are the object. If you want a separate video on this topic, then write us in the comment below. Moving on to our fifth question. I dash gone to the party, but I was tired. I dash gone to the party, but I was tired. Is it would have or could have? Well, the correct answer is would have. I would have gone to the party, but I was tired. Would have is used when you wanted to do something in the past, but you could not. We have already covered this topic and have made a separate video on would have, could have and should have. And if you haven't watched that video yet, do watch it. Moving on to our question number six. After the football match, the team's banner dash on the floor. After the football match, the team's banner dash on the floor. Is it lie or lay? Well, the correct answer is lay. After the football match, the team's banner lay on the floor. Lie means to lean back or rest. And lay is the past tense of lie. Well, English is incomplete without prepositions. So here is the last question to test your prepositions. I met her dash the entrance, dash the bus stop. I met her dash the entrance, dash the bus stop. And your options are at 
in or on. And the correct answer is at. I met her at the entrance at the bus stop. At is used when you talk about an exact position or a particular thing. Now you have to write down your scores in the comment section below without any hesitation. And tell me which of the questions was most confusing for you. I hope that you enjoyed this grammar quiz and I will be bringing you similar quizzes in our next videos. For that, you need to be updated. So, subscribe to our channel by pressing the bell icon now. I hope to see you in our next video soon. Till then, be safe and happy learning. Ingvarta, your English practice playground. No judgment, only motivation and constructive feedback. Join today.